So for example, I have a rectangle like this. I'm going to paint this rectangle with a color, paint it with a color. And so this, this rectangle here is a single drawing. And I want for this rectangle to, to bend at 90 degrees. What we could do, we could put a bone deformer on it. Now, you see this toolbar here? This is your call your advanced toolbar. And here's where you call your deformer toolbar. So if you right click in the empty area up here, you have your advanced animation tool sets, but you also have your deformation tool set. So let me just tick these off to show you. So by default, when you have your tune boom, or when you're looking on your screen, you'll see something like this, where it you won't see any advanced animation tools or any deformation tools. What you need to do is in this empty area right here, you need to right click and you select deformation. And what that will do is that it will bring up your deformation tools. So let us look. So I'm going to bring up the network view while we're doing this. I'm going to locate the drawing. So this is our drawing that's that are called deformer. So if I select this drawing now, the two primary tools, so I'm going to create what is called a bone deformer. So to create the bone deformer on your deformation toolbar, you have these two hammers. All right, you have this white hammer, hammer, and then you have this um this wrench and this hammer right here. So you're going to click on this and then you're going to click on this as well. So once these two tools have been selected and your drawing module has been selected, you're now able to create your bone deformer. And to create your bone deformer, what you do, you're going to click three times on this drawing. You're going to click once here at the end. You're going to click once in the middle and you're going to click at the end. So what that will create, that will create three points that will enable the animator to manipulate this drawing. So I'm going to click here once. And notice when I click right there, it has this red, um, this red thing right here. That's the root of the deformer. And notice that once I've started to click right here, you see that a, a group has been formed in your network view. So that's the first click. Then the second click, you're going to click in the middle of the drawing. So that's the second click. And notice that the icon has been changed to a B. That stands for that's because we are creating a bone deformer. And the third click would be right here at the end. And notice that this has a kind of rotation element on it. And then you have this little point right here. So the bone deformer has been, the structure of the bone deformer has been laid out. However, we're not finished as yet because if you observe, the bone deformer is still in red. So what we need to do now is we need to deselect the white hammer. And notice that it's now green. And we're going to come out of deep. Uh, we're still in deformation mode. So we're going to come out of that. But you can click on any one of these tools, but preferably you can click on the transform tool to come out of that mode. Because now we're going to use the, the transform tool to bend this drawing. So, so what to, to bend this drawing, you can you move the mouse to this end right here. Notice that the, the icon, the cursor changes to this rotation symbol. And you just simply click and hold and move up. And notice what happens right there? It deforms the drawing. I can bend the drawing going in this direction as well. Now, I just un undo that, undid it. So if you want to as well, you can click this little part here and you can stretch it out as well. So the arm can pretty much stretch out like that or it can stretch out. It can stretch out in any direction. Well, you can actually use this part to kind of rotate it. But what that will do, that will lengthen the forearm while you're doing that. If you just want to rotate it while maintaining the length of this arm, you just simply move the mouse cursor here and you right click up like that. 
well, not, not right click, you just rotate it up like that. And you have it bent without the, the length of the forearm being changed. This part here now, you can click and rotate from the end like that, rotate the entire arm like that, or element, whatever it is, whatever the drawing you're trying to rotate. Or you can move the mouse to the end here and rotate it like that. So that right there is the bone deformer in terms of enabling it to bend. And if you look right here, whenever you create a bone deformer or, um, or deformer, you notice that this group automatically attaches to the drawing module. So sometimes when you're, you're trying to press B in your hierarchy to go up in your, your network, you realize that you would see your, your drawings start to be highlighted with the transform tool, but it reaches a point where it comes off. You, you don't see the, the transform. That is because it selects the, the deformer. Um, so right now you see the transform here, but whenever it selects the deformation group, the transform comes off of the drawing. So right here we have, um, that's just how you create a bone deformer. Now, just say that you made a mistake with creating the deformer. Um, you can, all you have to do is just simply delete this group. By the way, let me just open up this group to show you what it looks like. So this is what your, your bone deformer looks like in that group. You don't really need to know any of these stuff, but I mean, I'm just showing you what it looks like when you enter the deformation group. Once you delete this group or detach it, the deformer disappears off of the drawing and you can no longer manipulate it. So it has to be connected to the, the drawing or if you delete it, you delete the deformer. So the, the second type, so that, that is what you call the bone deformer.